a Cosmic Octave original podcast. Me and Jake running down the street with a handful of comic books kicking ass and yeah. banging chicks and drinking beers no, not and me. smoking I'm, not weed. Me. I'm married. Oh, yeah, well, I'm married. Jake, I do that. Yeah. No. Off panel, off topic with Jake and Tyler. Yes, God damn it, man! You ruined the recording. Did start over again. No, you know it's you it's son done. of a bat. It's done. God damn We're it! We're gonna wrap up the show. Well, it's, we'll see. Uh, thanks for joining in. And that's it. That was good. Good episode. <laughs> <laughs> Long time listeners of the show will be like, "What the fuck?" All two of you. Thanks, mom. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Thanks, dad. We're, they're not. We're, it's not <laughs> we're not brothers, and like we don't have mom and dad. I mean, we. You know. So, what are we talking about? Talking about how loud you are when you open sodas on the on the air. Yeah. Good old root beer. Yep. You know what? When I get tore up, I'll have a couple of mugs. Get tore up with a mug. Get some A&Ws. You drink too many mugs, you get a mug shot. <laughs> oh, you telling me, buddy. Here, yeah. uh, yeah. here. All right, welcome to the show. <laughs> now, now we got the... What's going on? <laughs> this is a weird start. Shake out the sillies. Shake out the sillies. Put that away. No, sorry. I thought you said shake out the willies. <laughs> nice segue. Zing You know, sometimes on TV... Here's here's something we want to talk about. So we have this new thing that we're this talking about. This is your segue, okay? Where we um, where things like what we what we talk about would not be allowed on <clears throat> network television because they have a network standard uh, network standards and practices, okay? And that was generally the big four, I guess you could say: ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, right? And uh, uh, the basic cable channels kind of got around that uh, a little bit by being able to show things after a certain time at night. Uh, they were able to, you know, just do different things. Like FX, I believe, doesn't matter. I, I think they swear or whatever, and it doesn't matter. They don't say fuck, but they do say shit. Okay. They say, but the the fuck is on the on Hulu on edited. Yeah. But um, anyway, uh, so like the, you know, it's kind of lax the, these days. But here's the thing: back in the day, before the only way, you know, there, you know, there was sure there was DVDs and, and VHS and stuff, but. But the phenomenon of ma- of edited for television was made strictly for those who just don't go to the movie theaters. Like, hey, you got to see this movie at some point. You know, like you'd see a movie like six years later mm-hmm. on ABC, like Sunday night movie night, broadcast premiere, Independence Day. You know, and you're like, it's 2017. What the fuck? You know? <laughs> well, yeah. Streaming kind of killed that. But we talked about, yeah, but we talked about, like, you know, Scarface and Casino and Goodfellas. And one one thing I brought up to Jake is what exactly, what parts of the movie can you show to these people yeah. on TV? What parts of those movies are necessary for them to see? And will they even get the movie if they don't see all the other parts? And I mean, like, what's the point? What's the point? Exactly. A lot of these movies, they shouldn't even be anywhere near TV if you're going to go by the FCC regulations. Yeah, fuck that, literally. Yeah, just, yeah. And most people have gone streaming anyway, so there's not a lot of, yeah, there's just not a lot of censorship Mm -hmm. to to worry about. They still have, like, you know, movie movie marathons and stuff on TNT and whatnot. Yeah, this is going to be a much shorter segment than last week. I, and I said that uh, last week, that the, last week's episode would probably be the longest. Uh, so I just found, I want to use one because it's so good. Cause, and I'm worried we've already peaked with this segment edited for TV because <laughs> we've already explained there's it. so many good ones. Mm-hmm. Um, so, well, you didn't need to explain it as much as you did. No, what I was going to say is that um, whenever right. I would ask uh, my grandparents like uh, if they wanted to go see a movie... You know, like, oh, I want to see, you know, this movie. And they'd wait for it to be on TV? Yes. It's like, that's not even the movie. I know. And it was <laughs> like, when? Nine years from now? <laughs> that just made never made sense to me. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. You know they weren't going to be like, ooh, finally Scarface is edited for TV. Let's watch this bitch. This clip is from The Big Lebowski. One of our favorites. And this sequence is when they're interrogating a 16-year-old kid about... 
who's stealing his uh, Lebowski's car, right? Because mm-hmm. he found the the paper in the car. But anyway, <laughs> I, you know what's funny? I fucking love that movie. I've seen The Big Lebowski so many times, but I still could to this day could not tell you what the plot is of that um, movie because it's kind of all over the place. But anyway, yeah, yeah I could. John but, yeah. Goodman is interrogating him, and he won't. Uh, budge. He mm-hmm. just kind of stares at them like, "What the fuck are you talking?" And about? they believe, what is this? yeah, that the car outside, the really expensive car, the sports car, Larry Sellers bought and it. And he beats on it. He's, it's classic scene from the yes. movie. He goes, "This is what happens, Larry, when you fuck a stranger in the ass." Yeah, but he's like, "This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass." Yeah, he says it to him um, before he walks outside. So this and is the TV edit of that. that. Here's the TV edit of that. This is what happens, Larry. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps? This is what happens. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens, Larry? This is what happens when you feed a scrambled eggs. <laughs> when you feed a what scrambled eggs? I think he said... A walrus? A walrus. I think this is what happens when you feed a walrus scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so they took fuck a stranger in the ass, which alone is a funny line. Yeah. Dude, then they added, only they Goodman add, can do it, though. Find it. Yeah, and they made him dub it. That's what's so great about this. Oh, <sighs> Goodman, man. Uh, I just want to hear it. This is what happens, Larry. <laughs> you see what happens, Larry? You see what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps? <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens, Larry? You see what happens, Larry? Uh, see, I want to hear this. This is what happens when you feed him. Went to the end zone. Sorry, sorry. Oh, what my what the mal- fuck? My phone malfunctioned. What? Do you have some sort of... It was like a, my sport, alert. My alert app for the my Buccaneers fuck. went off. You fuck. Sorry. I'm well, sorry. I guess they scored a touchdown, so that's good for me. Yeah. So anyway. Hey. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens, Larry? This is what happens when you feed them scrambled eggs. What happens? It's either walrus or children, but he's somebody's getting fed scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it, like hardcore. This is what Eat happens. those fucking scrambled <laughs> eggs, you fucking motherfucker. Whoa. Oh, shit. That's amazing. That's probably the greatest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Um, Find a stranger in the Alps and then feed a walrus some scrambled eggs. Yeah, you beat on their car, which why would they have one in the Alps? And also, yeah. What, and who the fuck? You know, where are you going to get a walrus to just feed scrambled eggs, John Goodman? I just, I don't get it, man. Just Yeah, what? Huh. What? Interesting. <laughs> Turn that shit up. <laughs> what? Turn my headphones up. <laughs> <laughs> One million dollars, bitch. And we're back. So uh, today's main topic is going to be uh, we're going to be talking all about Spider Man because Spider Man No Way Home oh is coming out God. this week, this Friday, dude. Can you believe that this crazy ass movie is finally coming out and we can actually it feels like it's been see it in theaters years for this movie. You know, and and it's kind of the same way. Like I remember when, uh, um, you know, Endgame, Infinity War, and then Endgame. I that remember, felt like an eternity. I remember though when, like, when, we, w- like, when it was like that Friday, it was coming out, and you're like, I can't believe I'm actually about to watch it, because yeah, it's set up for so long, and you're just like, oh. And they've and kind of toyed with you it. You know what sucks in the previews. You know what's seen that. You know what's kind of amazing, amazing, but also kind of sucks mm-hmm. is I don't think they'll ever top Endgame. In terms of scale, yeah, yeah, probably. It, but you just can't. Have you seen the uh, per, the pre the recent previews? Like they'll they'll show all the clips and, and and whatnot, and they intercut it with these words on the screen, and it's like bigger than even you imagined or whatever. So it's kind of toying with it. I too. don't know because it's only two and a half hours, so they're not. Which is good because I just have to see it on Saturday or Sunday that week, or else it's going to get spoiled for me and it's going to piss yeah, me off. Yeah, and we're going to do the spoiler review. Are we that going to Monday. see it Sunday? I'm probably going to see it Saturday night because uh, Ashley wants to see it and uh, she has okay. to work Sunday, so okay. we're trying to work it out that way. But I'll try and see it Sunday morning. If then. I can't see it Saturday night, I'll try and do it Sunday morning. And honestly, if she misses it. I'll just see it with her again because I probably want to see this movie in the theater twice. Yeah, you'll want. I want to uh, watch it in fucking. You want to get your tickets like for Saturday, like now. Yeah, I know. 
So figure that out, and uh, we'll either yeah. We'll anyway, do we'll do that off the show. Yeah. Off the air. <laughs> anyway, um, no, right now schedule. By shit. the time this airs, we've I've already not gotten the tickets, and I'm not gonna see it. <laughs> no, I will see it this weekend. I have to. We have uh, yeah. There's it's no for way. the show. We got to do it. We got to do it. There's no way that I will make it. We got to we got to make money. Spoiled. <laughs> it's a tax write off. It's for the show. <laughs> I barely made it through Thursday. Uh, I hadn't seen. Was it Wednesday? I ba- I barely made it through Wednesday without getting a sort of spoiler about Hawkeye, episode four. So I don't fuck. think it's that much of a spoiler if you're actually paying attention. If the spoiler is what you're talking about. Well, I can't talk about it. Yeah, because I haven't watched episode yeah, you four. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking dildo. But I know what the spoiler is because, uh, duh. Uh, if you've seen Black Widow at... You know where this is going. I'm just going to say that. No, that wasn't what almost got spoiled for me, but yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Yes. That was one that was obvious. Yeah, well, duh. If you've seen Black Widow, duh. Yeah. If you know, if you know. Uh, so If you know, you know. If you know, you know. You know. Fuck. I don't know. Because I'm pretty... But I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, it, it has felt like an eternity for this movie to come out. And I think when that, tra- that first trailer dropped in August... Because yeah. I, I was going to see was it anyway. Was it any- August? Jesus. Yeah. I was going to see it anyway because, one, I love Spider-Man. Two, yeah. I, it's, a, it's a Marvel movie. It's an MCU Marvel movie. And, I mean, that was already that was it. Those are the two main things I was going to see this movie. But yeah. the thing that sold it on me was just the idea that they were just doing this weird Spider-Verse, one more day hybrid we're idea. We're going to throw everything that has ever been on screen in a Marvel Every in a interpretation Spider-Man of Spider-Man. And I'm sorry, yeah. there's no and if if they if they aren't in the movie, holy shit, that's that's crazy. But you cannot tell me that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are not in this movie. They're in this movie. I believe it. I will say this. But that but I, be, I wouldn't put it past Marvel to not put them in it. That would be the biggest fucking spoiler of all that they are not in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm glad they have not been. Sh- if they, okay, let's just you and I are in the belief that they are in it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad they didn't show them in the trailers because it's gonna they make shouldn't. It's gonna make that moment when they show up so much better in the movie. What I, and that would suck if that was spoiled by a trailer. Here's here's what here's what's going on with me in terms of anticipation for this movie. I believe that they have shown us. They've a, hinted a, at a, it a, enough. A, a, a fraction of the cool shit we're gonna see in this movie. And I believe that they keep showing us the certain scenes they do because that's all they can show us without giving away the fucking store. And I'm cool with that. Yeah, exactly. I believe that no matter what I have seen, I am I I am going to see that yeah. much more. Like Again, that much more I, I insanity. Clear, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Marvel didn't have them in it. Mm. But I'm just saying it just feels like right. there's there's too many But that would be the biggest fuck there's you. There's too many allusions to it in the trailers. Mm, yeah. That it just, it's, yeah. And then you're going to tell me you're going to get Electro back, you're going to get Doc Ock back, you're going to get Lizard, they're not even, I I Are they going to try, you think Rhino, you think Paul Giamatti is going to come back? Lizard and Sandman are going to get the shaft in this movie, I'm telling you that Oh yeah, of course. Because they're clearly, they don't even, they didn't even, so they did a villains panel for this movie and they only had Jamie Foxx, Willem Dafoe, and... Alfred Molina. Yeah, I'm sure. So you know who the main villains are going to be in this right. movie. So, and and it's fine because we all know they're just going to bring Sandman and Lizard in to be CGI. Yeah. That's it. Probably. And they're going to bring in Venom. And by Somehow. the way, spoilers, I guess. Yeah, you, you, should, a, you know the fucking Easter egg at this point. Jesus Christ. You yeah. know. It, come on. It's been an eternity since that movie's come out. I know it's only been Dece- uh, October, but, you know, in terms of movies, it's an eternity. Mm. Uh so I'm curious how they're going to do that, and I'm glad Venom's not in it. I'm glad there's not an allusion to that. Yes, because if, like, if he is in it, because he is in it, it's going to be fucking rad. Here's the thing: if you have seen Let There Be Carnage, you kind of have a little bit of knowledge about this com- upcoming movie that other people don't. And I feel like them not spoiling that in the trailers kind of is yeah is for there- people that didn't see Venom, yeah. I think I feel like Marvel. It, this is this is their way of being like, hey, those of you who saw Let There Be Carnage, wink, wink, you know, like w- you know what you saw at the end of that movie, but nobody else is fucking seeing this that didn't see that movie knows. <laughs> you guys are special, and it's like, yeah, we are fucking special. You're special, special. We saw it on a Sunday morning, bitch. 
We saw it together. Saw it together. We had brunch at Flix. Bitch. This what? isn't a glee club. Fuck you. <laughs> So how do you want to do it? Do you want to do? Uh, I feel like we should do movies first. Obvious, that's obvious. Like what? What movie? Rank the movies in order or whatever. No. Okay. We're not doing it. I changed my mind. Well, fuck you. Retrospective <laughs> ranking. Oh, the Spider Man movies. Thirties were a crazy time for Spider Man movies. So how many movies do we have? We have nine. Okay, we have, we a, have a trilogy. Three, sa- three ra- plus Ramey's two. Trilogy. I mean. Five making because of the uh, amazing Spider-Man movies. Yeah, those are the studio ones. Then we have um, Into the Spider-Verse, six, Homecoming, and Far From Home. Yeah, seven. And then there's because we going haven't to seen be No eight. Way Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first things first. Um, so should we go from worst to best? Like, who? What's your seventh to first? I I think we can all I definitively. Feel that's the way you got to do. I it. think we can all definitively. I, I think you. And I, I don't know. Hang on, I think you can, you and I can agree that Spider Man three and Amazing Spider Man two Ooh. were both subpar when it comes to these movies. I don't know, man. I I think I I am in the camp that I think that Spider Man three gets a little too much hate. I don't think it's good per okay. se, <laughs> but I I feel Dude, like you love Venom and they fucked up Venom bad, like bad. Eh. All right. Whatever. I think what they were trying to do with Venom works for the for that movie. But, sure, but they it's seven minutes of screen time is just. Ugh. I uh um. All right, so yeah. number seven of of these movies, we'll put okay, it for and me, again. We're putting in Spider Verse because we're doing all the theatrical release Spider Man movies. For me, so. number seven is Amazing Spider Man Two. Amazing Spider Man Two. Why is it number seven? Uh, it's Why just, is it the worst? It's just. I mean, look. All these movies have qualities that make them good movies. And, you know, I mean, you could make the argument that all these movies are, are decent or whatever. Like, the many spent on them and stuff. So, saying one of these is the worst of them is not the worst movie ever, okay? But in terms of all the movies that, you know, kind of came before it, especially, they tried to they tried to fuck it up the way they did Spider-Man 3, which is they tried to shoehorn too much shit into it. And it doesn't really work. Uh, the final product doesn't really work. And I, I don't know, man. I just, I don't need to be. I don't need to see the Gwen Stacy moment on film. I just don't. Why? I just don't. Hmm. But when it comes down to it, between Spider Man Three and Amazing Spider Man Two, I would give Amazing Spider Man Two the also. Hey, let's start a battle at the end, but then cut it short. That's stupid. And so, show yeah. that shot in the trailers. Yeah, you fuckers. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that number seven for me. Hmm. Don't be a bitch with your uh, what? What? I don't know. Talk, speak up. <laughs> Cause that, that's a funny that's a funny movie because I got none I, of these are terrible movies. I left Amazing Spider Man two really enjoying it. Okay. But then I rem- but what upon it's one of those movies I loved it when I first saw it and then. Right. It the uh, more I watched it, the more I realized, oh, this isn't. I don't really like this. I don't really like this movie. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I feel like you and I are probably gonna have a similar list. Also, also the 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 goblin that they finally had in Amazing Spider-Man or, sucked. Yeah, suck my sucked. balls, man. And Dane DeHaan's a fucking good actor. I mean, oh, he, is he? He crushed. It. Have you seen Chronicle? No. He crushes it in that movie. You're crushing. He's great in I'll that crush movie. Crush you. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably put Amazing Spider-Man two at number seven as well. That's uh, based on the Goblin uh, alone, right? I think yeah, the Goblin, especially with how they handled because this this is the problem that I had with the Amazing Spider-Man movies is they for one they they shouldn't have come out when they did and they did b- to keep a license. Yeah, basically because it I mean we were the first the Amazing Spider-Man reboot is 10 years removed from the first Spider-Man movie. Yep. So Raimi's Spider-Man is still fresh in our mind. Oh yeah, totally. So they felt the need to do course corrects and weird changes to Spider-Man in those Amazing Spider-Man movies to be different than Raimi's movies. And slightly. In doing that, they not didn't, as good. They didn't commit hard no, enough. No, because like Norman Osborn and is Andrew uh, Garfield is, is too cool to be Spider Man. Sorry, uh, Norman Osborn is played by I don't even know who. Okay, he's a he's in a lot of stuff. He's a good actor, but 
you're not going to top Defoe's performance uh, for for Norman Osborn and Green Goblin. It's just not going to happen. Isn't it Chris Cooper? Chris Cooper, that's yeah, his name. Yeah, yeah. And he's fine, but he's so sparingly used, right. and he uh, he just he uh, shows up, dies, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the Goblin whole thing sucked. Um, and Electro. <sighs> I don't even know. Yeah, the Electro stuff, I don't like Electro as a character, to be honest with you, because it's just, he's a, he, I it's get, stupid. He's, he's, he gets bullied into becoming, and then he becomes this character, and I get this, all this stuff, but it's just, I don't like seeing it. I don't like his character very much, so I wonder how they're going to do it in the new movie. I, but, I, but anyway, yeah, number seven, we're in agreement. It's Amazing Spider-Man 2. You got to be pleased that they're having a comic accurate costume, because it looks so cool. It looks cool. It looks like a neat like body armor type of thing going on. Yeah, and the new one. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like and they then, finally, and then finally, and even made a mask out of the yes. lightning. Like that's yes. pretty, that's pretty fucking cool. cool. The more see, the more the gritty that these movies get, the more it's like, oh, cool. When you see like a more comic book accurate representation, that's the thing that always made me laugh about comic book movies mm. because uh, you know after the Dark Knight came out, mm. everybody decided, to, and then Watchmen comes out not that long after, and so you have like these dark brooding superhero movies because that's what they think people want. And I'm like, mm. you guys forget that comic books are fucking bright colors. Yes. And people like, like, when you watch cosplayers, you don't see them dressing up in the movie characters that much. They dress up like the comic book ones because they're flashy and they're yes, bright in real and life, they draw attention. Yes, in real life, a bright fucking red fucking leotard is probably not the best thing for Daredevil to, to wear. But they did it in such a way in the in the show that it was cool. You were like, oh, that's cool, you know? Like, yeah. the, anyway, um, yeah, so let's let's agree that that one is number seven. All right, well then, who's six. your number six then? Because mine has definitely got to be no- Spider Man three then, or or even Amazing Spider Man the first. I'm one. gonna go with the, the first Amazing Spider Man number six because you don't need I don't need Dennis Leary in any of my Marvel yeah. movies. Yeah, and literally yeah. not and, as and Captain Stacy. S- look, look, I I do think that Andrew Garfield's and um, Emma Stone's chemistry comes shines through in those both those movies. I think yeah. it's true. But there's and it's this is so fucking frustrating about these Spider Man movies is it had its moments that I really enjoyed. Like I like that first person sequence when he for, when he lands on the the building and yeah. he's looking at the mirror. Like I like that. That yeah, was cool. The, the, and it had some sequences that I like. They but didn't have anything like that made, in the Raimi they movies. Made, they made right. fucking Spider Man mm-hmm. this angsty fucking dick like Mm. peter was a dick Mm. and i get it his uncle died but like there was so much more emotional weight and change in toby's version yeah than in this version and it's nothing against andrew garfield it's just how the movie was portrayed and yeah it went hard on the whole i don't give a fuck about peter's fucking parents they went hard on that yes yes and and, which is yeah uh, so yeah number six is amazing spider-man um, and, and and here's the thing too about that is really that whole um, that whole aborted trilogy because it was supposed to be a trilogy but they stopped it because Mary dude I, I gotta I wanna happen and stuff we need to do the deep dive on what happened in the Amazing Spider-Man two mm. because there's like apparently hours upon hours of footage mm. of the cut movie Mary Jane was completely cut out of the movie oh Mary Jane was in it yeah. They had an actress cast in the movie, and it? then they completely cut... I don't remember her name, oh. but they completely cut her out. So, and so here's the thing. So, is, I'm wondering how I much of that, that whole, was Sony. That whole project, that whole double movie project there was just a bad idea. It was I, Sony's fault. Right. It was It was just a bunch of executives going, we got to keep this license, and let's throw as much money as we so can did, at it. Fox did the same thing with Fantastic Four in yep. 2015. Fucking we, we will do a fucking deep dive oh on that, too. God, Holy that shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. So six, and then number five for me then has got to be amaz- or has got to be Spider Man three. I would, f- you know, we fucked up because our lists are going to be the same. That's okay. I thought you'd put Spider Man three at six, and then I put Spider Man three at five. Well, when you think about it, you know what? I'll put Spider Man three at six because of reasons I've already got into, and you have Sp- Amazing Spider Man at six uh, for reasons you've already gotten into. So who's your number five? Your number five is Spider Man three. 
Yeah. Because mine is Amazing Spider-Man. Because I like. I'm always. I'm just, I like I, those you, first no, person no. things. I'm, I'm being. I'm being legit here. For the sanct- for the entertainment of the show, I would say have a different number. But if you truly feel like one is better than the other, rank it the way you want to rank it. I, I'm not telling you how to do your ranking. Again, I I, I got to start by this. I feel like we, but no, Whatever. I think we're gonna have differences in the MCU Spider-Man and the Raimi Spider-Man. I think we're gonna see a lot mm. of difference there in the top mm. four. Right. So so yes. fine, okay. we'll yeah. go with this seven because you feel the same way I do. Amazing Spider-Man. We two. both know those two movies were crap, and they we were hate me- them both. Yeah. So we're both gonna put them at six. We and have seven. kind of differing opinions on three. Raimi's at five. So sure. here's why I think Ra- Raimi's is better than the two, the Spider-Man three. While it is bad, why I think it's better than the other two uh, Spider-Man movies is because while it has sequences that yes, we it's a fucking meme. The dance sequence is a meme. And guess what? It's a funny fucking meme. But they make And you know yeah. what I say to the dance sequence? I say Damn it, my phone. <laughs> nice meme. Wow. Okay? That's, that's what you say? Yeah, that's exactly what I say. What? So oh. <laughs> <clears throat> when when they when they parody it in um into the Spider-Verse, I mean, you can't help but be like that's awesome. Sorry, my phone keeps Fucking malfunctioning. Douche. No, that's good because that means more touchdowns for Tom Brady. No, it's the same thing. Sorry, it was the oh. same highlight. Anyway, continue. Um, what was I saying? Oh, you you kind of got to give it up for the, for the whole movie just because it's like okay, well they made fun of it in such a way that's like yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I they are trying to show that his he has more confidence even though it's. You know, and when you get down to it, it's, no, it's, it made it's him, still, it made it's, him give, it's gave still, him enough confidence to be douchey, it's, and that's the point. And he is douchey in the movie, right? It's still, it's that's still the point. bad, but that's right. the intention. And and again, yes. that fits that fits Sam Raimi's style, the cheesy, campy, over the I top. I wish, I wish that they wouldn't have made the uh, Spider-Man suit the way that they did in those first three movies, because when Venom did come out, they had to kind of stick with that rigid line work yeah instead of more organic like i mean they it do looks in the it movies. looks cool but it looks as good as they can make it yeah and but yeah i would have appreciated more accurate big white spider on and i chest. appreciate that they tried to tell the story of eddie brock a little better than they did in the venom movies the venom movies well, they do a good job the, of it the intention to get topher grace to be eddie brock was to show like a dark mirror version of of Peter Parker, Parker, yeah, which I like that yes. I uh, uh, that approach to yes. Eddie Brock, and I like how they how they went about that. And I will I will say that you're right because this movie is a Spider Man movie. It's better in terms of Eddie Brock, yeah, and in a way that yeah, it, it can actually tell his story. the The Venom movie had to do it without Spider Man and this whole thing, yeah. But yeah, I think that it still has great sequences, like the scene. <laughs> <laughs> the movie has its faults. This is why it's in the lower tier. Because why the fuck are we spending 30 to 40 minutes recapping the other two movies to Harry Osborn because he has amnesia? Makes no fucking sense. Also, yeah, that's really stupid, but I will Nobody s- no head injury Here's- is gonna give you gonna give you brain loss in the last two movies. And 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 really you're gonna put him on a snowboard, on a flying snowboard. That's what you're anyway. But but that when, goblin but when he, sucked too. But when Harry dies should have made him hobgoblin. When Harry dies, it still has a lot of emotional weight. Sure. And you do got to you do got to give it up for the special effects sequences for when Sandman is created. Oh, it's fucking amazing! It's, that, that shit it, is heartbreaking when he tries to pick up the necklace of his that little was, daughter. That was made. Oh. that was made in two thousand six. So that movie yeah. came out in two thousand seven. So they still probably shot it in two thousand six, and it still holds up now Fuck in twenty twenty one, which One's is the, damn impressive. Yeah, but. I can't forgive, like you said, the jumbled <laughs> mess and how they did my boy Venom. Right. I can't forgive some of the really, like, Spidey senses tingling dick joke in the movie. I'm like, why? And, of course, Mary right. Jane, once again, for the third movie in a row, mm-hmm. is a fucking damsel in distress, yeah. and that's it. Yep. It's, yeah, there, it has its faults. That's why it's in the lower tier. So, number five is Spider-Man 3. So, let's go to number four. Tyler, who do you got? Okay, so what do we have left? We have the two. We have... Uh, we, we have had, the two Raimi's. We, we have, have the, the two, two Holland, and then Into the Spider Verse. Hmm. So we have five movies left. Oh, five left. Okay, so I right because my number five. Then wait. 
We have eight mo- Wait. No, yeah, because there's two two Holland <laughs> left, two Raimi left, <laughs> and Into the Spider Verse. That's five movies. So I got Amazing Spider Man. So your, was your my, math my was wrong, one. right? Okay. No, no, you're right. It was eight movies. You said seven. It's eight movies. This will be the ninth movie coming out. Three, five, six, seven, eight. This will be the ninth movie coming out. Yes, that's what I just said. Gotcha. Okay. So my my fifth. <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll, math is hard. <laughs> da, da, da. Hey, numbers are hard. My my. So so we both have already done uh, eight, seven, and six, and our both eight was um was Amazing Spider Man two. It amazing. Yeah, our our bottom three are the same. It's okay. Amazing Spider Man two, Amazing Spider Man, and Spider Man three. Gotcha. Okay. So, cool. eight, so eight is ASM two. So now 2. we are we are done with the Amazing Spider Man series. We're on a number series. six. We're on a number we six. We have gotcha. Okay. So gosh. Instead okay. of five. G. Hmm. Or sorry, we're on number five instead uh, of number four. Uh, God, I'm gonna. Uh, this, this is, is see. Top this is where I think we're gonna have a lot of disparity. Is is the top tier? I'm gonna go ahead and have to give it to shit. I, I guess I'll give it to Far From Home. Wow. That's... <laughs> okay, oh, These okay. five movies are so good. Like, yeah. It's hard to pick one that's the worst of them. Yeah. I would say that one simply because... I don't know, man. Like, a lot of it dealt with the aftermath of Endgame and Infinity War and stuff, mm. so it was not as much of a Spider-Man movie. Right. Um, I don't like that they in the MCU Molten Man is actually a pretty cool character in the comics, and now he's just that, just this monstrosity. Yeah. Same thing with Hydro Man. Um, yeah, I don't really care for Hydro Man. When it comes down to it, I loved that they finally got Mysterio and they got him right. Like they had the yeah, fucking I, I comic loved how they did fucking costume. I love how they did him. So cool. And explained how he did the illusions. Like that was really cool. Yeah. Uh. But a lot of it was like tied to Iron Man. So I'm honestly, so far, you're going to see me give five and four to the uh, MCU movies. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to, and I'll explain why. Because a lot of them are, in terms oh, of- I'll tell you, I'll tell you yeah. why. I'm going to tell you the same thing. I think, I think, Fuck. Okay. Well, because they well, both okay. have to tie into okay, a larger, okay, okay, okay. a larger tapestry. All right, all right, they have to. All right, I'm gonna give. I'm and gonna you give... can't dispute Keaton in, in. Will Homecoming. you let me make my Sorry. decision? Sorry, okay. that's why I picked the second this one instead. This is why it's hard. <laughs> this is hard. This is hard. Because uh, Hall wasn't as good. We're gonna have the same fucking top eight, top nine, eight, whatever. I know because now I, you, I think you, I think you swayed me. Because we're both well. Look, if you if you if you think about it, I know that number one is gonna be Spider. We're both gonna put. Well, I wait. Hold on. I don't I, know about that. Mine is gonna be Spider Man because it was the first one and it showed how to do it. Uh, okay. I think you. Ha- I think you have to put. A- I'm gonna put. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I think you have to put Spider-Man so, okay. Man 2 so right, so right now, two. hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. So right now... Actually, Spider-Man 2 is number one. Shut up. Right now, we have... Because Doc Ock. Stop it. Right now, we have Amazing Spider-Man 2 at number eight. Number seven is Amazing Spider-Man. Number six is Spider-Man 3. Yep. Number five... Far from home. I fucking hate you. It's gonna be far from home. <laughs> and I think that I think the difference. I told you the difference is gonna be the top four. I think we're gonna shuffle around on the top four. Yeah. But for the sake of the show, because I feel like <laughs> we might have the same list. <clears throat> but yeah, I, for the same reasons, I feel like you you have to keep Spider Man in New York, and I don't like dying. And and you're right. I agree with you. I think the the fault of the MCU mm. is of the MCU Spider Man is just that it's the MCU Spider Man. It's too, tied it's too, too tied into to Tony. Man. It's yeah. too tied into everything else, yep. and it it just it it, it does it, the, 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 I don't it was know. cool seeing Spider Man fight Thanos. I don't okay? hate it. I like it because it's a different adaptation, mm. and I, and I like it. They but finally I, they've done Spider Man better than any of the other people have done Spider Man. But they Peter it, Parker. but they build on the the relationship with MJ. Mm-hmm. And I like the how they how they're handling MJ and the MCU and mm. their relationship. But yeah, it's 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 tough. I got to put that one at number five. 
I can agree with you. I think th- that we might just come together and make a definitive list here because I think we might be. The let's, same. Okay, let's do this then. The two. I'll MC- give you my number four. The two MCU movies are five and but, four. But I don't know about that because okay. I, so because I feel like my number four, mm-hmm. they're so good at the top though. This is the problem. The bottom's easy. My number four. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Ah, fuck! I can't do fuck, that. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck it! We'll do the MCU's. Fuck! Yeah, four and five. So let's do the top. Three. You know what? Stop making a separate list. Let's just make it a definitive fucking list. That's what we're doing. Okay. So five and four are far from home and homecoming. And the reason why uh, four is homecoming and, or, and not far from home is because Keaton fucking nails it. He fucking nails it. Uh, Holland nails it. They nail the Spider-Man movie finally. They finally nail the tone of being a spy. So a, a, I, the I, whole thing. I think I think we were wrong. I th- or, <laughs> but the top three are going to be the hot, the hotly contested ones here. So Rose, right now we got we got we got Homecoming number four. Homecoming gets a number four because it's it's a good. I think it's a very solid yeah. Spider-Man movie. I think it's it, of the two MCU's. It's the better yes, one. I think it's the better one. I think it gets. Um, I think that Holland nails the the Peter Parker aspect mm-hmm. and the Spider Man aspect. I like him as both. I think that's that's always been the um, code they couldn't crack. Toby yeah. was a great Peter Parker, right? Didn't really like him as Spider Man. Yeah. Andrew Garfield didn't really like his Peter Parker. Kinda liked his Spider Man. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. They made him crack a little bit of jokes. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> he actually got the banter down better than anybody. Yeah. So far, well, Holland has gotten there. Um, he did pretty good in Civil War, but. Uh, Garfield nailed the fucking ba- uh, battle banter. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so number three for me would be Spider-Man 1. Okay. I agree. While I love, like, uh, y- you and I joke about how much I just fucking love Willem Dafoe's chew devouring mm. performance as Green Goblin. I mm. love how they did it, how they had the Goblin manifest itself. The scene uh, with the like mirror s- is just classic fucking Defoe, dude. Yeah. It's just they all they did. They're like, no, no, no makeup necessary. Let's just have two cameras set up, and one of them you can't see like you're standing in front of There's a, a mirror. There's a stand-in on the back. Yeah. yeah. Well, and what's funny about that sequence is he's he's what he uh that's his natural teeth. He has a gap in his tooth. Yeah. And he has like a yeah. he wears fake teeth when he's act. Yeah. I don't think he does it for every role, but. And so when he's Norman, he, his fe- his teeth are fixed, and then when it's Goblin, it's the gap, and it's mm-hmm. the more ugly. Re- like I love how they did this split personalities with him. Mm-hmm. And say what you will about uh, Raimi's version, the inner the inner the, the, battle, the, the organic webs. You can have disputes about that, yeah, but I think overall it does a great job of telling. He still does this. He still tells Spider Man. He still origin. hey he still does this. Yeah, when but he- that whole sequence does. It's just. What up, sequence? up, up, and away, web. Shazam! At the go, time, web, go, fly! At the, at the time, it yeah, was... as a kid, it was funny as hell. But okay, well, shut the fuck up. Because I was nine years old shut when up, that movie then. came out. So I think we give Into the Spider-Verse 2 and... No! I say Into the Spider-Verse is number one, You personally. fucking turd. Over Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Cause Why? Because Spider... Okay, so Spider-Man 2... Is a great movie. Mm. I f- it still holds up. Probably the best spider the, s- superhero movie ever. This train sequence is fucking phenomenal. Yes, unbelievable. Mol- Molina just fucking crushes it, dude. But those arms are puppets. They're not CGI, by the way. But Into the Spider Verse is the better Spider-Man movie because it teaches you that being Spider-Man is a leap of faith. That being Spider-Man. Is anybody? Anybody okay. could wear I'll the give mask. That to you. Anybody could be Spider Man. So that's why I think Spider Verse is my favorite, okay, the, and that should bitch. be the number one. Fine. No, defend, debate me, bro. I don't, because I I think you're right. I I I think Spider Verse gets it right in so many ways, and it's I think funny. It has it's it's, it's heartfelt. It it's has the advantage scary. of it's... of all the other movies in the respect that it came after almost every other movie. Um. Right. So it was able to kind of toy with that, with the multiverse idea. It was able to toy with making fun of, you know, the whole dance sequence. That part is hilarious. You yeah, know? Nick Cage is great as Spider-Man Noir. And that part where, it you also, know. It also plays with the, it has fun it with. It tells us basically that the, the Spider-Man that dies is uh, Tobey Maguire without telling us that. 
And then, you know, it brings in the other Spider-Man, the Jake Johnson or whatever. And more than anything, yeah. Every, Chris Pine, by the way. What? Chris Pine was the first one. Yeah. So that's, but that's Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. That's what, Oh, I get you. It's in the 2002 continuity. Whatever. Right. It's it's when he the does Raimi when they do the whole thing. Because they he, show all of his shit from the Raimi trilogy. Exactly. Yeah. And he does the dance. He's in the costume, but yeah. he's doing the dance that Maguire did. Mm-hmm. So it's clearly like, without saying to us, we know and that. And his... his uh, design looks like the 2002 design yeah but um yeah you're right uh yeah i'll give you that too you would say that it, it has the advantage of being able to spoof and also stand on the shoulders of all those other movies and it's animated which means they could do things in that movie that you cannot do have in, you seen in a, the trailer in... for across the spider-verse no dude part one it's a two-parter I know that uh, Holy uh, shit. Oscar Isaac is uh, Spider-Man The sequence is awesome because it's an older Miles. Mm. Gwen shows up, mm. and uh, she finds a drawing of her that he made. And she's like, she goes, yeah, I miss you too. And everybody make, already made it into a meme of her having like this big fat ass. I'm like, the internet's so fucking stupid. Sometimes it's great, though. No, Well, that was funny, but I was like, Jesus, <laughs> you you guys are sick. Um, this is a fucking kids movie. Um, <laughs> and then she goes, come with me kind of thing, and they go through this sequence, and they go into Spider-Man 2099's world, because we know at the end of that, so, yeah. at the end of Into the Spider-Verse, that he can jump from the different spider verses so let's go um, and the sequence dude the sequence is like so, i think some of these animators took some acid and just like wrote down what they were thinking and what they saw because it's like holy shit it's okay like, so a couple things that uh i read about the animated uh the animation style which yeah. sony copyrighted actually which um, is stupid i don't like that no I, i'm okay with that i don't think you should copyright art i don't like an uh, wait like Shut up. This is also no. It's also me coming from the video game world where you build an engine and you just license it out to everybody, and that's how you make a lot of money. Maybe they will. A lot of teams. Maybe they fucking will. Maybe they will. Jesus. Anyway, so uh, one thing that they did was um, for a long time now, all comics have been digitally printed. A long, long time. But when I was growing up, they were all printed on newsprint. And they were used. Uh, they were printed using a four color system. Okay, mm-hmm. and it was uh, yellow, red, blue, and cyan. I think. And so, uh, trivia qu- trivia tidbit: the reason why the Hulk becomes green later on is because it was cheaper than gray. Because he was originally supposed to be gray. That's yeah. it. Yeah. There's no like in universe explanation. So everybody, shut up. Anyway. I saw this dumb cracked article and they got it really wrong and I wanted to punch somebody. Anyway, I, that shit that shit is fucking real to me, man. Okay? You don't fuck with the Marvel Universe. The fucking goddamn trivia. Anyway. It's... So, a lot of these, you know, you would find, like, discrepancies. You would find, like, grab, like, ten issues of, like, a 1981 Fantastic Four-ish uh, comic book. Dra- grab, grab ten of them. All not no ten of them you will find two exactly the same because the printing process was different for each one. Shit falls into the machines. Uh, fucking shit doesn't you know gets unlined or whatever. If you notice, the ink will sometimes be just off of the lines in the movie. Uh, in a lot of sequences, it's kind of blurry, if you will, right? And they used a uh, a a, sequ- or a technique called zipatone. And what it is, is it's this paper you used to buy that my brother got into a lot. And what it is, you take um, you take a shaded, shaded area and you put it on top of your drawing and mm-hmm. you cut it out with a Z- X-Acto knife and then you put it on the drawing and it gives it like this really cool like shaded look. It's called a Zipatone. And they use that a lot in Into the Spider-Verse 2 uh, as well. And so I read that they they purposefully made it so that sometimes, you know, like you'll see a triangle, uh, like a lined triangle, and the triangle of color is like just off of it mm-hmm. in the movie. And they did that on purpose to um, evoke comic book pages from like the 70s and 80s and yeah, shit. Yeah, because that movie- How fucking cool is that, That's dude? really cool because- That's yeah, so cool. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse does look like a comic book. Dude, you should read some of the comic books I have from like back in the day when they were newsprint, man. Fucking- they were just like, what is that? Because it's just a blob of green, you know? And you're like, man, I know the artist didn't intend it to look like that. 
Or did they? Or did they? Or did they? Oh, wait a second. I was reading Swamp Thing. Maybe. 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 Swamp, Swamp, Thing, Thing, Hair, Hair, Long, Long, Box. (laughs) Uh, All right, all right, let's keep going with the rankings. So our definitive ranking is... At number eight is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Mm-hmm. At number seven is The Amazing Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. At number six, Spider-Man 3. Mm-hmm. Number five, Spider-Man Far From Home. Mm-hmm. Number four, Spider-Man Homecoming. Mm-hmm. Number three, Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Number two, Spider-Man 2. Uh-huh. And number one, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You son of a bitch. You're right. You got it. Wow, what Nailed a list. It. What Fist a bump. list. Fist Fist bump. Bump. All right, who's the best Spider-Man? <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, I'd say. Uh, so we got we got uh, we got Tom Holland, we got Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, mm. uh, and that's those those are the live action. Yeah, we got the two animated Do ones. Do we bring but in honestly, the animated ones? <laughs> no, they both did their job. You know, I mean, you know, Chris Pine did his job and Jake Johnson. No, let's not. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna the go three. With, let's just do the. I'm gonna three go with Holland. Action. I'm gonna go with Holland, Maguire, Garfield, and here's why. Uh, Holland. Uh, has nailed like the um, unsure of himself kind of, you know that that quality of yeah. Peter Parker, and he's also a good Spider Man. He's he's the best of both worlds to me. Like we kind of talked about, like Garfield is a bad Peter Parker, but a good Spider Man. McGuire is a great Peter Parker, but a bad Spider Man. Mm-hmm. So I think Garfield just kind of eats it all over because he's kind of too cool to be Spider Man. Uh. So <laughs> I think he's third no matter what. McGuire is second, even though he came first. He didn't quite nail the Spider-Man stuff. He almost sounds like he, 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 <laughs> Oh, what's that? Oh, <laughs> he's just like I don't know. I guess I'm Spider-Man. I guess I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> My name, like is you were talking up, up, up on the way web, like yeah, that old, yeah. yeah. So I think to me that's my top three, or that's my ranking. What do you got? I think that's yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying now. Now at this point, we're just doing definitive rankings because Might we're both well. going to be in agreement. Do you everything. agree with that definitive ranking? Yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I think you're pretty spot on with it. Thanks, I, man. I think so. Thanks, baby. Uh, now we're gonna go villains. Thanks, sexy. Now we're gonna go villains. So we got <laughs> we got a lot of villains. Yeah. Uh, so we got <laughs> we got two Green Goblins. We got two. Three, if you want to count Franco. Oh God, <laughs> they call him Hobgoblin in that one. Though. Yeah, but he. Okay, fine. All right. So two goblins, so Hobgoblin, Doc Ock, Lizard, Sandman, Venom, Lizard, Lizard. I think that's it. No, who is it? Electro, uh, Electro, Mysterio, Vulture. Vulture. We have ten villains. Do we include Rhino and Scorpion? Even no, though Oh no, definitely not Scorpion. Rhino's not even in it that much. So then let's do ten then. Okay. So I think Number ten, the <laughs> worst one. Electro. Guarantee, right? Ah uh, 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 the second goblin. Okay, okay. I'll accept that. Dane DeHaan, number ten, goblin. Number nine, Electro. Okay. Number, number eight. eight, Hobgoblin, just because it was like throwaway. Yeah. You could have done so much better with and that. And they did a whole amnesia angle. Number seven, Lizard. Although, although he did have a pretty cool plot of like making Peter break up with Mary Jane. That's pretty mm-hmm. kind, of, kind of amazing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, number seven was uh, Venom. Even though Topher they Grace, told the story yeah. great, it just didn't land. They, he was on the screen for seven fucking minutes. Mm. Six, would, uh, I would say Lizard, just because, again, those movies were just kind of crap yeah. all over. Yeah. Although his whole relationship with Peter and F- stuff, that uh, was really pretty cool. Five. <laughs> Sandman? Or was Lizard five? Or did you say six? Uh, s- Lizard is six. Uh, five would be, let's see, Sandman. See, the thing is, this is, again, this is why I like the, tr- the Raimi trilogy so much, is they cast the villains so well. Yeah. Like Thomas Hayden Church That's is, what I'm is saying. awesome like, as yeah, Sandman. Yeah, he kind of has to be because we know that... We know that number one is going to be, be Goblin. Defo- Win- number Defoe. two is going to be, be Doc, Doc Ock. Ock. Number three is going to be um, Mysterio. Mm. I, would say, I would say Mysterio Vulture. Vulture. Dude. No, Vulture Mysterio. No, I just see. Uh, this is a definitive ranking. We got to sort this out. Why would you say Mysterio over Vulture? <laughs> Persuade me. No, why would I say Vulture over Mysterio? Yeah, Vulture over Mysterio. I mean. Because. Keaton does Sinister like nobody else. Now, Gyllenhaal is great, and the comic accurate costume is a plus. But 
Vulture's story makes way more sense in the context of the of the universe. Okay. And Mysterio is way too tied to Iron Man. Well, they both are really. Jeez. Um. No, I I I I, I agree. I think I that, just like that. Like the scene Vulture is dangerous, and Mysterio the scene sneaky. in the car. The scene in the car alone. Oh, dude, yeah. Was that was very intimidating. Right. Yeah. And then when he comes in, when he walks in, and he's in the warehouse, he's like, "Hey, Peter." Put yeah. on my gloves. I'm about to kill you. You know, it's like he's very nonchalant as he drops this building on this scene. Right. <laughs> I think yeah. You look at that as sinister. So I think um, I got you're right. I agree. I'll put. So in. we got Goblin, Doc Ock, Vulture, Mysterio, and then Sandman, Sandman, Lizard, Lizard, Venom, uh, Venom, Hobgoblin, Goblin, uh, yeah, Electro, and then Goblin yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. That is our definitive Spider-Man retro <laughs> re- retrospective ranking. Okay, best director. Raimi. Easy. <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> you fucking pieces of fucking shit. Fucking shit. Fuck you fucking motherfuckers. <laughs> better, Phil, better, Lord, Phil Lord and Chris okay, Miller okay. on Into the Spider-Man. Why don't we power rank the love interest? Okay, so who do we have? We got... Uh, would Gwen you say Stacey, Gwen Stacy? Mary or, Jane. Would you say Gwen, Gwen S- Spider or uh, Spider Shut up. Gwen? Shut up. Here. <laughs> Let me explain it. <laughs> Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen, MJ, Mary Jane. Because MJ is MCU. Okay. Um, I think we got to do Spider Gwen at the bottom. Do we say... No, I don't think we put in Spider Gwen because she's not actually his girlfriend. Like, they never date. Yeah. See, the other okay, three... Okay, so then three. Then three. MJ, <laughs> Mary Jane... MJ is from the, the MCU. MCU, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. We understand. Zendaya that. is is MJ. <laughs> MJ, Mary Jane, and uh Gwen Stacy. Yeah. Um I gotta give Mary Jane number one top spot. And here's why. She's a damn I know that I movie. which sucks, but uh okay, fine. I'll give MJ over Mary Jane because at least okay, MJ then it's MJ, isn't Mary Jane, and Gwen Stacy. Yes. Even no, no, no. What are we talking about? The best relationship on the screen of those two shitty movies <laughs> was Gwen Stacy and yeah. Peter Parker. Yeah. Andrew Garfield and Gwen and, and uh, Emma Stone are number one. Number two okay. is MJ and number three is Mary Jane. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's the ranking. Plus, Emma Stone is fucking smoke show, dude. Damn. Just going to let that hang. You know, and uh, here's the thing is... You know uh, how much you could pay me? (laughs) One million dollars, bitch. Here's the thing is that Emma Stone actually was at uh, the Oscars, I think when she won for Birdman, I think. Yeah. And uh, she was answering questions afterwards, and um, one of the reporters was like, Emma Emma just wanted to say right now that you just look so incredible. And she's like, oh, well, thank you, because that's all that matters. And it was like, that's a great way to kind of be like, you know, I'm more than just a pretty face. Yeah. And I respect her because of that a lot. But, you, I mean, sorry, you are very talented, but you're also very, very hot. So, there's nothing wrong with being hot. <laughs> and in honor of this show today. Ooh, look at the big brain on Spidey. <laughs> But I, I'm aware that uh, that yes, Emma Stone is more than just a, a, a hot lady. You know what I mean? I know that. But you would say, "I'll eat your ass." Wow. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll eat your ass. <laughs> That's disgusting. Also, this isn't a glee. Club. Also, that <laughs> laugh I just did was creepy, dude. <laughs> you know, gross. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> mm. I'll eat you. I can write a book about what you don't know. I love how his voice breaks. About what you don't know. <laughs> I'm mad. You fucking do me. I'm mad. I'm running away. All right. With his with his arms oh, down. God. Is he running away with his arms down like this? Who? You know? Skeletor? Yeah, like like kids used to do is when they were mad. You, is that how you run? No, when you were mad and you were a kid, you ran away with like Oh, you want me to demonstrate it for you? Pause it, I'll demonstrate it. <laughs> no, pause I, it. I, I've seen it. I've, okay. I've seen it. Well, pause it because I was going to go over there anyway. But <laughs> Pause it for a second. What are you going to do if we ever do a live show? Like, <laughs> if we ever do a live stream, you're going to be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> so, is it time for the long box? Can we do that? 
Tyler's Box. Did you like that? It was a bit much. You were a bit much. <laughs> My long box this week is going to be um, uh, John Stewart. Um, the reason why I'm talking about John Stewart is a couple twofold. I was watching a movie last night called Mixed Nuts. And um, it's a movie from 1990 something with uh, Steve Martin, Rita Wilson, who's Tom Hanks' uh, wife, if you don't know who that is, um, uh, Madeline Kahn, Adam Sandler. Robert Klein, Gary Shandling, Juliette Lewis, Anthony LaPaglia, Liv Schreiber. Uh, God, who else is in it? I keep forgetting somebody. Just all these people. Jake Williams. <laughs> <laughs> all these people are in this movie. Uh, and then John Stewart and Parker Posey. John Stewart plays a, a small role. Uh, him and Parker Posey both are a couple that roller skate by like three times, three different times in the movie with their Christmas tree. And they are um, uh, kind of uh, plot basically just there to move the plot along. So it's kind of weird. But uh, the movie is actually really good. It's uh, I, I remember it was kind of panned. But there's so many good performances in it that it's worth a look. It's a Christmas movie, so check it out. It's the holiday season. And I guarantee you'll you'll get a kick out of it, especially if you like anybody in that in that uh, list of people. Sandler is just like, wow, that's you can tell he's like on the verge of like stardom at that point, you know. And the reason why I'm talking about Jon Stewart is because la- a couple nights ago on ABC, they did another one of those live before a, a studio audience yeah. things. And that's on Hulu right now where you can see Facts of Life and an uh, episode of Different Strokes. And guess who plays... Uh, guess who plays Arnold in Different Strokes? John Stewart. Kevin Hart. Whoa. What the fuck? Yeah. I knew he was in it. Uh, John Stewart actually uh, plays a bit part in uh, Facts of Life, and he does a really good role, and it's really funny because there's this part, Will Arnett plays this other guy, and uh, <laughs> he, he's, he has a line that he says to uh, John Stewart's character where he's like, you believe in science fiction, man. And the way he did it was so broad yeah. and just like really over the top that both he and Stuart just started cracking up because it's live. You can't, yeah. you know. And uh, so that was pretty funny. But um, I got to say, uh, Kevin Hart stole the show as Arnold. Uh, he was fucking straight up fantastic. Snoop Dogg makes a, a, a surprise appearance. And uh, if you get if, if you like those those things that they've done, I like them. I like when they do them. Full of a lot of surprises. They don't always land every time. All the jokes and stuff. But it's worth it to see all these like great actors from like our generation recreating these things from yesteryear and just having so much fun with it. Cat- no, man. Make yeah. new shit. Catherine no, Hahn uh, is a Joe in Facts of Life. And she, I would have to say, she really, <laughs> she really does it over the top. Uh, <clears throat> you know, somebody should have said like, hey, bring it down a little. Bring it, bring it down. But it's Catherine Hahn. What are you going to do? Let her do her thing. <laughs> That's my long box. John Stewart. Mixed Nuts. Mixed Nuts. Live, from a, live in front of a studio audience on Hulu. Check it out. I'm going to check you out. You know what I'm checking out right now? My Your dog. dog's balls and his wiener. He's neutered. Because he's just laying there like, check out my dick. Hey, puppy. Sometimes he's I w- got this look on his face, like you have to look at my dick now. Oh, my uh, thing, Jake, mm. su- Jake Unlimited, Unlimited Jake, Ultimate Jake, Ultimate Jake. Uh, uh my thing that I want to talk about is just uh, this past week, uh, the campaign had launched. I have not played it of uh, Halo Infinite, and I've been playing mm. the multiplayer of that, mm. and also the Halo TV show. We got a little bit. Of better look of what that's going to be like and uh, it's just very exciting to be a halo fan Mm -hmm. again Mm -hmm. uh because the last game it came out six years ago Mm -hmm. and um i think that there are definite changes that need to be made uh multiplayer wise that's the only thing that i played but it it just it was like riding a bike it was one of those things where i hopped in and and have been playing it occasionally and Mm -hmm. it's just 
there's just something that clips uh, clicks gameplay wise where it feels so much fun to play. Yeah. And when and I usually um, play with uh, Gomez, who's been on the pod. Uh, him and I will play together because that's what used to we used to do back in the day. Yeah. And it was such a like blast from the past. Yeah. And it, I haven't felt that way about Halo in a while, so Ooh. I'm excited to uh, do that. I'm wondering what they're. Go- I'm really excited what they're going to do with the TV show mm-hmm. because I'm the kind of guy that only really plays Halo for its multiplayer. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've played the single player games, but I haven't been super attached to the lore of it yeah. and, and the story of it as say other people. Yeah. So I I don't know. I might not be as I might not be the guy to go to for that kind of knowledge, but I'm still someone that's like, oh, I would definitely watch the show. Yeah. And it's it's gonna be on Paramount Plus. I'm a little annoyed that we haven't got a date yet, but this has been developed. Like this show <laughs> has been in the making for fuck. I mean, 18 years mm. because it's it ever since Halo came out and became this huge franchise for Microsoft. They, of course, they've been trying to make a movie out of it, right? So yeah. they've been trying to make a yeah, movie. You keep your movies about video games. <laughs> so they were trying to make a movie about it for forever, and now they're finally making it as a TV show, which is what I've been saying forever. If you're going to do a video game story, do a show so it can be episodic, mm-hmm. and it can be different because you can't pack or or just don't make it or that. But I'm saying, you, <laughs> but I'm saying that like spare us. There's some games could work absolutely as a movie because there's some very linear linear narrative games. Sure. But the problem is you're trying to pack 12 to 15 hours of story into two hours, two also, and a half hours. Um, I was just uh, touting um, this uh, stupid trend where um, actors today are recreating shows from like way back in the day. So, yeah, that's fine. No, I, I'm I'm excited to be a Halo fan again, and uh, it's I haven't felt that way in a while. So... I think the last time I was... I wasn't even that excited about the last game, uh, Halo 5. So the last time I was really excited about a Halo game was all the way back in 2012 with, oh, Halo, yeah? with Halo 4. So, wow. Wow. You know, I at least <laughs> let you talk <laughs> when you talk about things that I don't care about, you dick. I'm such a dick. <laughs> really? Wow. And um, I'm sorry. sorry. I know we haven't talked about Hawkeye uh, as much on this show. Well, it's because you're behind. I'm behind. I don't yeah. really have internet right now, it's so fine. I'm trying to catch up. We get it. So it's all right, dude. Yeah, we'll see. It's all good. Well, at the very least, we're gonna do it like we did for Loki. We're gonna do a full season uh, review of Hawkeye once the last episode comes out. We'll figure something out. Mm. Uh, so, Tyler, this has been not as fun as I'd hoped. What? I'm be honest. What? <laughs> been a while been a week yeah been a whole week and wasn't that fun no we had a great time buddy yeah. we learned a lot i uh we yes. stumbled into a topic this is one of the times where uh tyler shows up to the man cave studios we're like yeah we're recording tonight what are we doing and mm-hmm. then we're like fuck what are we gonna talk about and then i was like wait a minute no way home comes out this week yep. we're gonna do the spider-man episode so that has been our uh, Spider-Man retrospective ranking. Eventually, do some sort of thing where we're doing like commentaries on the Spider-Man movies. We t- we did talk about that. Yeah, but we never got around to it. We, and now it's coming out. There, well, there are a lot of as things happen. You know, as as having full time jobs. Yeah, Jake's got to be an adult and stuff. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> well, I will say this: we're probably going to cut back on um, a lot of the current stuff going on because i mean after spider-man there's going to be more releases in january but for the most part january is kind of quiet peacemaker's coming out on hbo max so we'll definitely talk about that when that comes out but yeah i there's a little bit of a lull so i I think that that's a perfect time for us to do more of the commentary tracks and do just you know get back into comic book reviews talk about you know things maybe not as current events as they have been the last few episodes. Yep. You know what I mean. Any ba- Anyway, uh, I don't know why I went Australian. Uh, hey, man, you not give that date my mate. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for listening to uh, this episode. And if you noticed on the feed, if you did listen to the Major Liberty and the Wrecking Crew um, teaser trailer that I made. I appreciate you, and I love you, and uh, that will come out. I love you, too. 
We're still trying to nail down a release date, but that is coming in 2022. Mm-hmm. So that's exciting. Uh, anything else to plug? Anything else? Um, I figured out how to uh, release an album with covers on it, so that uh, should come out maybe January now. I haven't been working on it really well. I feel like I put you on the spot. No, I, I, I. Problem is that like I'm just not happy with the dead and bloated, which I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know. You know. Well, well. Anyway, thanks so, so much. Yeah, uh, <laughs> thanks so much for listening and. Um, Remember, out there, if you're thinking about doing something, shut your face up and do it. And if anybody says you suck, you tell them, hey, bad mother crusher. That's what I am. <laughs> what? And that's it.